Please. Uh. Play the guitar. It's a sitar. Uh. Yeah. 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 S W C B T D C Y E Malik. We back in these streets. I keep saying the same rhyme, but it's time for me to break it down. We got pizza from downtown. It's about to be in our belly. Some of y'all gonna be hella jelly, but guess what? We kind of funny and we don't give a fuck. Give us our money. That's right. Get paid. What I do, what I say, that's the stomach. Why is it grumbling? I don't know, man. Stop mumbling. Speak up. Feed me. Feed me. Yeah, I'm hungry. I want that pizza, man. Fuck this show. I want the pizza. Man, I'm hungry. Man, I'm hungry. Man, I'm hungry. You gonna be like that today. Cut the beat. You gonna be like that today. I just fucked the whole <laughs> rhyme. <laughs> I was flowing. I, I was going. I and told you, y'all I was hungry. You just like, y'all just fuck went, all that. And y'all wouldn't listen to me. Fuck all that. Having fun and shit. Yeah, I Ain't nobody gonna be having a good time. <laughs> if I can't eat, and if I can't fucking get, get that food, then nobody has a good time. <laughs> I was telling the kids, our kids, because yeah. they're our children. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they are. Because we're a couple. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would be scary. <laughs> That'd be scary. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's pitching and who's catching? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you get Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. <laughs> I'm leaving I Tuesday. I was telling the kids. <laughs> I ain't going to be around. Monday, on Monday. <laughs> Guess what? I got to go to work. <laughs> Again? Yep. Tuesday. Oh, we got to work on Tuesday. <laughs> I was telling the kids about imitation cheese because they had never seen imitation cheese I haven't before. either. You never seen imitation I, I, cheese? I, I, yeah. And I'm not even being, what do you go? I just so never it, have. I was, I'll go, this is not real cheese. It's fake cheese. The shit doesn't melt. You can put it in a flame and it'll just look at you like, nigga, what are you doing? Shit's disgusting. I never knew about government cheese or roaches until I watched Def Jam. And I like to you now. Lucky you. Def Jam comedy and BET. I just didn't know about those things. Lucky you, because let me tell you. But I mean that it, government cheese was heavy. I mean, I heard all the jokes about it and I but heavy. I couldn't relate. But it was good. Don't get me wrong, the government cheese was fucking good, bro. It made some bomb ass grilled cheese sandwiches. I guess so. It really did. I mean I it didn't, was government cheese and government butter. They I, had other government Food products that would so just how, it would just be the name of the food product. That must have so much fat in it. it if, would just, if the government make it, they you know they, the government don't give a shit about our health. So, but that was back in the eighties or in seventies. So, I mean, they really didn't give a shit. That's why they put kids on the back of milk cartons. Who looked at the back of a of anything in the eighties and se- in the eighties? You were there. Tell no. us. You know what, man? Fuck, I was trying to listen to you. <laughs> you got some shit like that. Okay. <laughs> See what okay. I did there? Fuck all y'all. <laughs> fuck all y'all. You Switch. Fuck up my rhyme. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. You fuck remember, up my remember, rhyme. remember that from Ice Cube? Remember that? The, the, the cold, remember Ice Cube's first was solo that? album? Was, when, he, when he walked, he goes, Cube, wake your ass up. Let's go. And he's walking to the, uh, to the, uh, the, the electric chair and he's on death row. I mean, it's, and this is all audio too, but you know what's going on? Cube, it's time to go. And you hear the, the uh, open the cell, to open it, and he's walking, and he go, and he go, you hear, and he goes, and, and Cube is like, "Hey man, hey, yeah, I never did like you, man. It's so regal, hey man, yeah, I never did like you." And he go, "Okay, put him in the chair." He goes, you "Got any last words?" Yeah, yeah, I got some last words. Fuck all y'all, switch, and he electrocuted him, dude. The first, the, no, uh, I never uh, heard that. Amer- uh, America's Most Wanted <laughs> by Ice Cube was one of the best solo albums ever. I mean, of yeah. rap albums ever. Of that, of that time, dude, he was so raw. That was when Ice Cube was just raw. Man, that was a great album. America's Most Wanted. America's Most. Ice yeah. Cuban? Dude, Ice Cube. can't type, can't talk, can't spell, can't read. Ice Cube's for America's Most Wanted was one of the greatest solo albums ever. It really was. Oh, my God, it was good. Oh, yeah, he looks like America's Nightmare. I remember when... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't remember the little skits he had on, on his little thing? Yeah, they used to do that back in the day. Do they still do that now? Nah, or, or do they? Uh, Malik, why? It's hard to do a skit when you mumble the whole time. I've heard a couple skits. <laughs> really? yeah. How about, hey, how about, did you see Trick Daddy talking about how he gets his ass ate out? No, ew. Oh, my God. It was on a... Uh, 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 Trick Daddy has lupus. Who's eating a lupus <laughs> booty hole? I, apparently somebody is, because he was on uh, Noriega's uh, pocket, whatever it is, and he was talking about how... Uh, uh, yeah, he gets his ass eat out, and man, it was so funny. I mean, it was disgusting, but it was funny, and they were laughing so hard. I mean, I was like, Ugh. That's, yeah. I was like, if Trick Daddy getting his what ass, what kind ate. of woman has 
Hey, the best line ever, Eddie Murphy in 48 Hours. The generosity of women never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the greatest understated lines in movie history. I have zero respect for women who eat ass. Absolutely. Really? Man. I have nothing I have, but the greatest respect. I have no respect. If you stick your tongue in a man's asshole, do not expect. Fresh out of the shower. Do not expect. Fresh to, out of the shower. Do not expect to get respect from me. I mean, I mean, let me tell you. I don't give a fuck. Let me tell you this story. I don't let give a fuck. Let me tell you. So this girl's eat my ass, right? So I'm, I'm in bed, right? So I'm like, okay, this is great, right? So <laughs> I'm laying there. Bless you. I think I just got COVID from the so, store. So, Jesus so, Christ. So why are you letting bitches eat your booty hole? Anyway, so I'm <laughs> in there, my legs up, right? So then <laughs> Guys, got, would y'all let a woman eat your ass? <laughs> Just look back like, hey, I got things I got to do. Nasty. <laughs> I, be, so I anyway, bet y'all put y'all legs up. So anyway, yeah, I got my legs up, right? Yeah. So for some reason, See, so for some reason, no, no, no listen, for no, some reason, no. she had to go do something, right? And Brush her fucking teeth. And when she came back, she go, oh, I'm done with that. And I'm just there laying there with my legs. are like, oh, man. I feel so you. I'm like, oh, really? And you still goes, had your legs up when she walked away? Cause, yeah. What a bitch. <laughs> I thought she was going to finish. She go, oh, no, I'm done with that. I go, God damn it. Here I feel. I go, look. <laughs> oh, I wish we could make an album cover with that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That should be the name of your next your next album. Nah, I'm finished with that with you and your legs in the air. Nah, I'm finished with that. <laughs> and having a girl look at you with disgust like this? No, like you were the one eating ass. Well. You not done till I say you done. <laughs> get your ass back down here and eat my booty some more. Oh, that was a good I don't time. even know how about going uh, approving some type of Buffoonery is such. Buffoonery. It's, it's not buffoonery. buffoonery. It's not buffoonery. If a woman asks to eat my ass, she got to go. They don't ask. They don't ask. They just do. Nah. Ain't no asking. Nah, you just nah, do. Nah, nah. Women just do. I think nah. men now have to ask. Nah. <laughs> women, you needs permission, and you ain't never gonna get it. You get, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. You know that song? Never gonna get. You never gonna get permission to eat. Get the fuck away from me. I'm about. With, I kiss you, bitch. I'm about uh for one piece on you. What? I mean, how about that? What? If a woman pees on you, like a golden shower, would you go for that? Fuck no. Okay, you gotta be. Why all, are you letting people pee on you? Why you gotta be all upset about it? I just ask you a question, man. Why no, why, why are you? Upset? Why are you, you questioning get, me if I let a bitch pee on me? You get like geometry teacher, man. Like, yeah, because <laughs> it's, it's insulting. Okay, I'm not gonna let no bitch pee on me. I'm a grown ass man. I don't let nobody pee on me. What? Well, what if they ask you? I, once they go, I yeah, beat is... that bitch up. Okay, do, well, okay, here back. Hit here. her in the throat so she can't never speak again. Did you say beat that bitch? Oh yeah. my god, Dion, really? Yeah. Domestically you, abuse a bitch who wants to pee on you. You need to go to thug therapy. You goddamn right. <laughs> 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 a bitch want to pee on you, you have my permission to whoop that whole ass. By accident? It's disrespectful to ask a nigga if you can pee on him. Hey, man, I know we're getting off into our sexy time. I was wondering if I could. Drop my drawers and piss on you <laughs> real quick. What the fuck do I look like? I ain't a latrine, bitch. You nasty, BT, letting bitches pee on you. I never said I let bitches yeah, pee on you. But I, I, I can tell by that. the look in your face that you've been pissed on before. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Secretly, you want it to happen. Anyway, so listen. See, what's see the, what? you what? sick what? bastard. What? Malik pissing on bitches you wanting to get oh, yeah, pissed Malik on does, by doesn't bitches. Malik does, doesn't he? Y'all just a bunch of pissy motherfuckers around here. Well, I'm you, sitting in Piss Home Studios next to Pissy 1 and Pissy 2. Well, what do you like? Y'all should have a studio together. Well, what do you like? i tell you what I don't like. Oh, we know what you don't like. What do you on. like? What do you like? Just regular old? Nah, I like getting that Gluck Gluck 9000. Oh, yeah, you told me that. The Gluck Gluck? The Gluck Gluck 9000. That shit. That, uh, yeah, that's we, what I, I like the sound of a choke. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a baby lamp. What, what do you when ask? I, when when the mama ask? guy's e eating by a uh, fucking tiger or some shit in the lamp and just bleating, wondering where mama's at. <laughs> Your daddy ain't coming, bitch. It's just me and you. <laughs> well, you're aggressive. Wow, that's aggressive. Put the hand on the back of the head. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's too aggressive. Ah. That's way too aggressive. I buddy. love that shit. Not, not, it's all sloppy and wet. Not in 2021. You got you know? to get up and wipe your ass because she done drooled down your balls so much. 
That your booty hole's wet. Well, this took a turn. <laughs> this took a That's turn. That's the shit I like. Wow, this I, I wow. like that sloppy toppy gluck gluck nine thousand. Wow, this really took talking a turn. Talking about getting pissed on in the we're studio. Not even, we're not even ten minutes in, and all of a sudden we're talking about the show can only go <laughs> up from here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we went down. We, you we, probably come on your stomach, don't you? Anyway, we went there. <laughs> we went there quick. We went there so early. Nasty. We, we went nasty early. We went this ugly is your early. Your fault. You brought it up. Anyway, so last weekend I saw uh, Tommy drinking Davidson. a bunch of water. I saw Tommy Davidson at the yeah, yeah, man. Let me tell you something. He's still one of the best. I spit all over. I, I know because you, yeah, <laughs> you're a disgusting human <laughs> being. But I saw Tommy Davidson at the <laughs> he giving the mic the gluck gluck. Yeah, I know you are, <laughs> man. Let me tell you something, dude. He's still one of the best, Tommy Davidson. He's still one of the uh, best in the game. Okay. Yes, he is. Yes, he. And I saw a podcast with him. He has an interesting story, man. Tommy Davidson is still one of the best in the Barnell game. Hill, man. That was probably my favorite character. Is dude? He was. He was great on the uh, Miss Pat show too. He was great on everything. He was. Oh, well, who's I, that? I can't who, talk who, about that. Who, 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 what woman is this? Is that his wife or his sister? Wife uh, Amanda Moore. That's his wife. Mm-hmm. You know, he he just had a baby. Damn, Tommy's like. Never mind. No, he's fifty-seven. Yeah, he should be having a kid. He said, "Man, no, and he can afford it." I have no problem with people who can afford a kid to have a kid. If you can afford a kid, hey, the funniest line Nigga, ever. I do. Just because you can afford a kid, don't mean you're gonna be here to raise the kid. Hey, hey, <laughs> show that picture of his, of his family. Yeah, right there. I want to see his family. God damn! Oh, that's Byron Allen. Oh, who's cute? <laughs> Look at the little one with the hair. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Don't I, nope 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 <laughs> nope. I'm not picking on children. I don't give a fuck. I'm how, not either. I'm not I'm either. I'm not going. I'm not there. either. I'm not either. Nope. I'm not doing it. I'm not either. Yeah, but he's still one of the best. I don't care anybody says Tommy Davidson of all time. And I think did he did he talk to you? Uh, yeah, he took a picture with me. I didn't want to bother him. You know me. I don't like to bother people, man. I I know how I come off, so I, I got to keep my space. You know what I mean? I know how mm. I come off to people. I kind of wish I'd have been here just to see if he remembered me. Yeah, hey, but he's but he's just so cool. You can tell he's in a good place in life, which is what I like more than anything. You know yeah. what I mean? Because um, yeah, he's in a good place in life, and that's all I care about, man. It's weird. Like now in life, I care. Like it's weird. Shit hits me. You'd be like, in a good place if you stop letting people piss on you. Back to the piss again. <laughs> I'm tired about the piss. You know, you ever see Arthur, the original Arthur with Dudley Moore? No. Okay, fuck it. Just, everything's lost on <laughs> you, motherfucker. I'm 36, nigga. Not that don't mean 86. shit. People. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck you. <laughs> fuck Malik. Fuck White Wife. You fuck ever see y'all. the original Arthur? Nigga, I haven't seen the original fucking anything. <laughs> that's funny. Now, that's funny. I haven't seen the That's funny right there. That movie's one of the best movies ever. Hey, Deadly Moore did a great job. The in that original movie. Arthur. Nigga, I haven't seen Arthur the remake or the original. Yeah, I heard the remake was terrible with uh, Russell Brand. Liza Minnelli, Dudley Moore, John Jalud, Jukal Gilgood. I don't know how to fucking say his name. Obviously, you're like Malik. Gilg. <laughs> no, Reed motherfucker. Jared Reddick and Rich Coleman. Gilgood. How did you get Gil? John Gil. He's an incredible actor. I guess it's He's Jewish. one of the classics, man. Yeah. A- anyway, like, uh, so Dudley Moore didn't want to marry, uh, he, you know, he's, one of, he's, he's a billionaire, right? Uh-huh. And so, and so... Uh, it was a, almost an arranged marriage where you married this woman. She had money too, but she was single. He's only five three. Holy fuck! Yeah, so you know, it was like married, you know, married this woman. He's like, he didn't really love her. She was nice, but he just didn't really love her. And he meets Liza Minnelli. She's kind of not really poor, but she's like, you know, from the just regular streets, uh-huh. and she's the same. And you know, she had that personality. He just fell in love with, right? Uh-huh. And he loved. And so, um, so he he has to go over to the woman he's supposed to marry. He goes to her house, and he's drunk. Got to break it to her. No, he's he, you know, he's supposed to propose to her. He's like, oh fuck, I don't want to go. Over. So the, the the dad is like one of those old dudes. He you know he built his corporation from the from the ground up. He went to heart one of them hard dudes. Mm-hmm. So he's in a room with a, a moose, right? That he shot. And Dudley keeps referring to the moose, and he goes, ah, oh, he goes, this is, he goes, keeps trying to tell jokes. And the guy with a knife, he goes, it's a tough room. I ain't got to tell you that. He points to the moose. I ain't got to tell you that. And the, he finally the, the dad goes, enough about the moose, right? <laughs> and that's what I try to get to. He told us all that just to say. I know. I knew it wasn't going to work. I knew it wasn't going to work. Yeah, because no one's seen the fucking movie but you and Alfred Hitchcock. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck you and all you. Matter of fact, all y'all go to bed. (laughs) I'll eat the goddamn pizza by myself. (laughs) I've done it once. I'll do it again. (laughs) I paid for this shit. (laughs) That's why I wanted to pay for it. I I know. So you could lord it over our heads. That's exactly what what women do. Man, if you're staying with a woman and and you fuck up, they have no problem with saying, "Um, whose house is this? Oh, you fucking bitch. Women. I always do shit like it. I used to uh, live with my girlfriend back when I was in Dallas. Well, it actually was my apartment. 
Matter of fact, there's a girlfriend I had. I didn't realize. This I didn't realize. The story has completely changed from being a, 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 no, a I about bitches telling you what you can and can't do. To like, matter of fact, this was my shit. That bitch was wrong. Actually, I just now realized. But that. actually, I never really wanted to go out with it. It was one of those kind of things where she was like, she offered me some pussy one night. I go, yeah, cool. And then the next night, okay, yeah, stayed. cool. And no, and then she, this was back in college, though. It was one of the college things where, like, we had a, uh, we, we had one of the first co ed dorm floors. You know, it's, co -ed, it's a co-ed dorm. Uh, it's a co-ed dorm floor. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah. so you know, everybody was like hanging out. We're just hanging out, and uh, you know, she was like, "Hey, you want, basically, you want some pussy?" I was like, "Yeah, I'll take it, fucking free pussy." You know, and next night, "Hey, you want some pussy?" Yeah, and, hey, you want, and so I was like, "Yeah." And all of a sudden, one minute we're in a relationship, and I'm like, "Huh?" And then it took me until like last year to realize I never want to go out hard in the first fucking place. It took you till last year. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, I go, I never really wanted that relationship. She, she got me with the old, hey, you want some pussy? And then I'm saying, hey, we're in a relationship. What? And that's what it was. Yeah. I, you're, anybody been, I, I hate those. You ever been tricked into a relationship where, like, yeah. they offer you the pussy, and then you take, and then, hey, you want some more pussy? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, uh, then the worst, no, the worst, if you're just fucking somebody, keep it at that. Because the minute you go, hey, you want to go out to eat? Or anything you do, yeah. uh, anything other than this that? This is what I hate. They ask you to hang out with them and their friends. Yeah, fuck that. I, know I don't that. know. I don't want to hang out with you and your friends. You know what? The worst is the is the dude. The worst is okay. No, the worst is okay. Say you just want to hook up. He going, hey, come meet my friends. That, no, that's always no, the worst. No, there's always that one not, dude who. If we're just hooking up, I'm not going anywhere. I don't want to meet your in fucking public friends. With you. I don't meet your. I don't want to meet. I don't you want, will not see me in the daytime. I don't want to meet you. Yeah, we're like a vampire. I'm fucking Batman. Yeah, yeah meet me I at am night. the vengeance. Yeah. I am the night. Yeah, meet me at night. I'm fucking you at night, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, meet, meet me at night, and that's all we're doing. And so we're not hanging no, out. I don't know. We're not eating. No. We're not. I don't want you. We can about, order pizza. Yeah. <laughs> we're not talking about hopes and we're dreams. We're not going anywhere. We're not telling hopes and dreams. We're not or, going anywhere, yeah. ma'am. Ma'am. But ma'am. Ma'am. We are not going anywhere. <laughs> but you know, what I do remember though. I do remember somehow I was with this chick, and we were like just hooking up. But we were in this place. I forget what it was. Maybe been like one of uh, cause you know, there's a gig in the Bahamas that used to do two weeks in a row, uh -huh. you know. And it was this play. And you could tell that she wanted to save that place for somebody she cared about. And me and her in the fucking like in this real exotic place. And you could tell she was like, huh, oh, wish I would have saved this for like a husband or something <laughs> like that. And I was still fucking her. I mean, you could tell that's where her mindset, but she was like, oh, I go, come on, we're already here. <laughs> I mean, it was like when I was, you could tell she was like, uh. I was going to save that for someone special. I remember I had a yeah, girlfriend. Well, yeah. your kid was going to eat these fruit snacks, <laughs> but I'm here now and I'm doing it. It was also one of the situations where I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell that story. Well, no, I was like, I, I, what I thought was funny. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. There's things you're going to, there's things, especially when, I guess when you're younger, I think you're older now, you don't give a fuck. Like, hey, I'm just happy I have somebody. You know what I mean? I think when you get older, your shit drops substantially. All your standards. Women yeah. and everything. Because you ever see a dude, you go, that's a nice looking dude. And you see a woman, you go, really? Her? I get it. Because she gives him peace. She gives him peace and it's easy. Mm -hmm. right, like, she, yeah. she easy. Get, No, I'll take it back, man. My, my bad. It's no, no. Like Let me apologize like to you. That line was better than I gave you credit for because I was ready to talk. I'm going to give you credit on that one. Which that's the great no, that was a great line. What she, she gave him peace. peace. No, I mean that. That line no That's what I walked and I talked over that. I'm trying to give you a compliment, motherfucker. That's the truth. She gave him peace. Because you know, you go, and hey, she did. But man, let me tell you something. When I don't care what, any, any woman listening, I don't care how you feel. If a dude comes home or, or come comes home or whatever, and it's peaceful, and hey honey, how was your day? How was your day? Wanna eat? Hey, okay, it's cool. What do you want to eat, bro? Boom. And there's nothing but peace and there's no argument. I always tell people. You don't marry a 10, you marry a 7. Because a 10 will make you work all the time. A 7 will give you a happy home. I say marry peace. A 10 could give you some peace. No, you can't. I because so. a, a 10 is on your level. A 10 will look at you in your face and be like, bitch, I don't need you, motherfucker. I don't and, need you, motherfucker. I'm a 10. And, she'll have a, and she's a lot of work. And she'll have a Disney line full of guy friends and, and who, who will listen to her problems. A bunch of niggas who are just begging, and you be tired of fucking her. Be like, come on over here, Craig. God damn, <laughs> nigga. I see you hiding in the closet. They make my motherfucking shoes. But is that an age thing also, though? I mean, honestly, because I will. Okay, this is what probably we're going to, you know, maybe Piss dis off. not disagree. because No, because wow. you're younger than me. So... You're still kind of in it, don't I heard that? Yeah, I <laughs> fucking shadow laugh yeah. over there. But yeah, but it's the truth though, because maybe it's an age thing also in the in, in the fact that, okay, say you're going with a hot chick who's a little old, like like she she lucked out and she's still hot at forty, right? And she and she's like a ten at forty, 
Is she still going to give you that grief? Not, is it, she going to get a 20-year-old 10? A 10? 10 is a 10 is a 10. A 10 never declines. So what I'm saying is, is if you invite that energy into your life, you're going to have to deal with that energy for the rest of your life. Everybody trying to fuck. And when you, yeah, and when you are fucking with people who have just, that's been their whole life, you're, not, you're never going to find peace. It's just like these women who date athletes. These niggas is 10s. And they have bitches get thrown at them all the fucking time. And you wonder why he's cheating on you. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Ain't got nothing it's to do just with you. the energy of a 10. It's just like, yo, I've got shit ton of options. And you're always going to have to deal with a nigga who has options. So you got to be always on your game. If you bring it down a couple notches, a seven don't have that many options. She might cheat on you with her coworker, but guess what? She's only she doing shouldn't be it. working anyway. She's only doing that to get your attention to tell you how much she fucking loves you. And vice versa. If if your man, if your woman, if woman, if you're a uh, 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 a ten and your man's a seven, he's gonna do anything and everything to you know an ugly motherfucker basically. No, you're not ugly. It's just you don't have as many options, so you have more. Oh, there's my 10 right there. And that, that right here. Pulled up. Right here. Our, our pizza's here. Right here, he bro. He blocking the alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the pizza today. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, YA. Yeah. yeah, so like, you know, when a, when a woman has to cater to a man, like, you know, the, he's my star athlete, husband, and I make sure the house is all right. But she's not working. She ain't doing shit, right? She's got to put up with all the side bitches. And, and, she, you, and you flip that when you're and a she man. She knows that. And when, when as long as you're disrespected by bringing the bitches into the right. house or and, fucking in the basement. And, and when shit. you're a man and you flip that and she's, you know, she's the queen bee and, you know, all these dudes want to fuck her, you have to tolerate her attitude. Yeah, you, have to, you have to be okay with her telling you, hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> would you? I would, I would never tell a woman, hey, you need to shut the fuck up. Oh, I've done it. Really? Oh yeah. To me, that's the most disrespectful. If uh, I gotta get I will to that look point, you dead in your motherfucking face and be shut the fuck up. I would never say it to a woman. I let well. You'll, yeah, no, no, no. You know what? You'll I, pee on them, but you won't tell them to shut. I've the fuck up. I've never peed on a woman unless she asked me to. I've never peed on a woman. Anyway, unless she asked you, so you'll pee on them, but you won't say because that's disrespectful. You need to shut the fuck. Yeah, I, I've never gone out with a woman where it's got to that point where we argue and it's in that level of like you need to shut the fuck up. I've never had that ever in my lifetime Lucky of going you. out. And I, I, I'm at the age where I'm never gonna get to that point again. I will. I, I'm, hey, I'm you not, need to go out with crazy once, and that's it. You need you, if you you're learn. young. If you're listening to this and you're young, and you and you've never had crazy, go out with crazy once, and you'll be fixed for that. Because then you'll know that it's like, level. Yeah, I'm not. It's, I, like, it's like in anything in life. I'm not doing that back and forth. Yeah, I had them. I had that. My bitches wanted to argue via text. That is my biggest pet peeve. Don't fucking try to argue with me over text message. The I, fuck I look like typing to you angry. <laughs> I've had the uh I've had the, the shoes and the yelling this and that, but I've never had you need to shut the fuck up. I've never had that. I've never done Have that. Have you ever pointed one. a bitch in the forehead? No. Be- I've never touched somebody like that. I I, I mean I've, I've I've done this before. Oh god damn it, I've done that. I no, like like holding her hand so she don't fucking hit me. I went I went out with a woman who I'm sure if she would have if she would have known how to throw a punch, it would it would have been devastating to me. <laughs> And <laughs> been I mean, like I would have been like, like saw stars. And so I was like, look, oh, but, but I've never had to like, you know, I'm, I'm about to do this bitch. You know, I've never had that. I'm about to do this bitch. <laughs> never, man. I mean, cause I just, uh, I, when you said, I thought a dope boy from uh boys in the hood. <laughs> I make a lot of dope, but don't call me dope boy. But yeah, I mean, I've never, done, I never do that to a woman before, man. And I, I just felt like in, girls who have been girlfriends, yeah, I've I've always been picky, like to the point, like now I look at him like, okay, how bad? It, I wonder how she's gonna be when I piss her off because I know I'm gonna piss him off. Like, how bad is it gonna get? Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, I look at you, you pregame. I, oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I I think two tailgate. Se- yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm like I'm like the New England Patriots when it comes to that. How is this bitch gonna be five years down the line? Like when I when she comes home when she finds when she goes to my journal and finds out like, you fucked who? I mean, you know what I mean? Like I I, I know what shit's gonna go down. Why would, why are you writing down who you fuck in your journal? Because it's my journal. And bitches that got going through your shit is like just, it, it, it's their right. It's If it's mine and it's right, it's mine. You know it's mine. You know it's personal and you still go through my shit, then whatever happens, happens. Are you a 53-year-old man with a journal? <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I do. I journal, man. You're supposed to journal for, that's for my self-therapy, motherfucker, for my self-therapy. Nigga writing in books and shit with his feelings. <laughs> Old feeling ass nigga writing down. Oh, feeling ass. <laughs> feeling this thug yeah. therapy session too, nigga. I don't feel pretty today. <laughs> I feel fat after all the pizza I ate. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I kind of had a girlfriend, but still, I'm 50. I like, I like it on paper, but then in, in actuality. What? You like what on paper? A relationship. It sounds good, but then you get in it and you're just like, oh. 
fuck me. When you, you know what? It's I not just, so bad I until don't that, have the energy until that one it. moment where you go, "Fuck, I'm in a relationship." Because it's like I be wanting some people. But see, my problem is I be wanting you hard, and then the next day I don't be it. It be gone. Yeah, exactly. It be gone, and like, I don't be, and I don't be knowing why. Yeah. I be, I have no control over. it. I be like. I gotta, leave, I gotta, leave. I gotta text this bitch. Just, just go. I gotta text this bitch. I gotta, damn, I gotta fucking call it. I just remember, like, ugh. There, there was a time when, uh, man, I was really, really doing my thing. And I remember one of my biggest, not fantasies, but one of my biggest things was to go to Daytona, like Daytona 500, right? Daytona, and I was there. Yeah. I was partying on the infield of the Daytona 500. I've been there. Daytona 500, I've, been right? done, I've been to Daytona Party on the infield. One of the guys who got, uh, in the top, th- I went there for the Supercross, right? Uh, and one of the guys who finished on the podium, were top three, I'm in his trailer with him and his wife. We're partying. And the greatest thing about that night is I never had to check my phone to see, why didn't you call me? And I, and I, I didn't have to check my phone at all because I knew I wasn't in a relationship at all. And, that, and it was the greatest night ever, man. And, and that's Did they the, have phones back then? You know what, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't. No, you could help it. But you went there anyway. I'm trying to be serious and open my heart up to you. And you're going to be that way about it. Nigga, I'm not your thug so, therapist. We're going to switch our Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be all open and shit with you, but I mean, you know what, man? It's like sometimes I'm, it's, it's hard. It's hard to maintain that, like. But I'm thinking about what you said with the peace thing. Like I'll like now I'll give up a lot. But like I said, if, if we if me and a chick get along, then I think all the other stuff yeah, that you, that used to be important is kind of like washed aside. Like now, I don't I don't think I need that that fucking like dynamo in bed anymore. I mean, yeah, that, you don't. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you I, never did. Yeah, no, I did. You didn't need it. You no. wanted it. Uh, for a relationship, yeah, I kind of needed that. Like, I needed that. Like, uh, look, if I'm going to come home, I better come with some bomb ass. Like, oh, shit. We about, to, bomb ass we about to fall. You know what I mean? Like, I got to get ready. Yeah. And, I, man, I shouldn't put it out there like this. But this, anyway, nobody knows. But, man, like. Don't say her name. I'm not going to say her name. I just said, like, last week I saw my ex-girlfriend, right? And uh, we hooked up. And, man, I mean, man. Yeah. I mean everything, like she still, she what still. That? What was that? That flash? Am I having a stroke? What, I, what was that flash? Like I'm thinking, no, no, it's over. I saw it too. Okay, uh, it's lightning. Oh, lightning. Okay. okay. Like, what the fuck? I thought it was aliens. It's not here. raining at I, all. I thought, oh, if, if I saw a dude with a sickle, I go, bye, Dion. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. It was him. <laughs> <laughs> He Somebody help BT. <laughs> anyway, man, let me tell you something. See you something. at the crossroads. <laughs> 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 That's uh, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. I don't know the what song. What the fuck was <laughs> crossroads. that? See you at the crossroads. So you on the lonely. Yeah. Anyway. But you fucked it. <laughs> I, I know. I fuck, a lot of things up. I fuck a lot of things up. I fuck a lot of things up. But listen, but I saw her. Man, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Still, still fine. I mean. You had great sex? <sighs> Great sex. Dude. I mean, listen to me. Like, I'm she had two kids, right? Uh-huh. Still tight. Granted, the kids are like, I think, 11 and 7. But not an ounce of fat on her. Mom was I sick. see her fuck. I mean, I see her abs. She's 41. I see her abs. And I'm like, oh, my God. And I mean, it was hot. And I was like, damn, this is incredible. How long ago did you guys date? Ah, uh, man, we talked about it. it had to be at least 13 years ago. The kid's 11, so it's, it's at least 12, 13 years ago. Okay. And uh, that was the one, that, that was the one, man, that all the girls I went, I went, that devastated me. I mean, I'm talking deva. As a grown Is she ass now? man, uh, they just got divorced. Uh, so she was getting some rebound dick. Uh, yeah, she, man, it's kind of bad because she's still kind of depressed over that, you know? And, uh, but, Man, that was yeah. was it her fault or his fault? I, that's the one I said that put the gun to the dude's head. Oh. But it was unloaded. And we talked about what we're, we're eating. We had lunch, and she's like, "I mean, it was unloaded. He knew it was unloaded." And so, and I was like, "Yeah, you're a crazy but, bitch." But I'm going. But I was going. You know what? She doesn't have a point. They both knew it was unloaded. So what's the big deal? Uh, you don't put a gun to a nigga head. Period. But but unless what, you're gonna squeeze that trigger. <laughs> but what he do? <laughs> <laughs> But what did he do beforehand to to, to facilitate that kind of? Um, oh, so we're blaming attitude. the victim now. 
He's not so much a victim. I think uh, she put a gun to his head. It sounded what, like a but, victim to but, me. But it's the same did, thing they say to women. Well, what was she wearing that no, caused her to be but raped? But what did he do beforehand for him for her to do that? You don't just put a gun to somebody's head for no reason. You're blaming the victim. Actually, I'm 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 looking like this. I mean, there's only so much a person can take before they go fuck it. I'm I'm, I'm lashing out. This trick. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, no offense, but you know what? Honestly, say what again, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm kind of understanding now. On shoot, like I said, workplace shootings and and school shootings. Now they're kind of making sense because it's like no one <laughs> listens to you. No, listen, no one listens to you. You 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 tell the pro- proper people, hey man, they're fucking with me, and you're not doing anything. Why they always fucking with me? <laughs> and then you take you take it, in, and then they have the, uh, the now the, you gotta and they point fingers at you. Why did you kill those people? I try to tell everybody they were fucking with me, and and then you don't do anything about it. So what am I gonna do? I always feel like somebody. Is watching me. I was gonna say fucking with me. Oh, fucking with me. Okay, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, it's true though. People fuck with yeah, you. Yeah, and it's very rare. It's very rare for people to just go off for no reason. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, start with yourself. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? If, if, if he keeps fucking with her, or in any situation, somebody keeps fucking with you, and you keep telling people this is what's happening, and then it, leave. That it's not that easy, man. You asked for a solution to your problem, and I gave it to you. And okay, and everything in life. Okay, what if you're a kid in school and people are bullying, and you and you're telling everybody, you're telling your teachers, you're telling your mom, you're telling or your parents. Go to the local news. And you're a kid in school, and so, people are fucking with you. Can you walk? Like, hey, they're you walk, they're nigga? bullying me. Can you walk? I mean, put yourself in a kid's shoes in, in school. How when old are fucking of a kid? With. Uh, let's say he's uh, let's say anywhere between middle school, let's say eighth grade, and. Uh, Tenth grade. Oh, you're, you're fucking old enough to know how to go to the goddamn. But you're doing that. You're going. Hey, listen. No, to the, the uh, news. They're bullying me. They're not going. You don't. Know, a kid's not going to have the the principal. Nigga, if you go, if you walk into the fucking Channel 13 with a fucking bruised eye, they're not like, going to do. No, they're not going to do they're anything. They're going to do a story on you. No, immediately. they're not. They're, they're going. No, no, they're, they're, they're not. They're going to be please. like, well, buddy. No, they're not. No, that's what I'm saying. I get that because no one's listening to you. You're trying to tell people the proper well, If channel. nobody's listening, you're getting your ass whooped in silence. What can you do but fight back? You go bust a cap. Is that what you're saying? Is that is it? <laughs> no, BT. That is the worst. Me- Cut that shit out. No, Malik. no, no. Do keep not that put shit. that in there. No, keep that shit. So what are they you do? You literally just say, yeah, if nobody gonna fucking listen, make them listen. Nigga, that's terroristic threats if I ever fucking heard one. So what, what are they to do? What's the solution then? If, if the school's not listening. I think the school should be held accountable. Oh my I really, I think a school should be held accountable. If somebody says, hey, they're bullying me, what should somebody Take do? Take your troubles into your own hands. This is Thug <laughs> Therapy 101. If a nigga not listening, make him listening. <laughs> With a four to five, you clock that motherfucker, pull that back, and you put it in a nigga face, and you go, respect my gangster, gangster. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about, BT? What if they can't get a gun? What if they're just like, what if they're a little kid at a school? You win some, you lose some. <laughs> But you live. You live to fight another day. Now you think you're a man with that gun in your hand, don't you? I'm a man without it. I don't know why I would just... You know what that was from? Hey, Malik, do you know what that's from? Yeah, he pulled it up. Yeah, I know what that's from. Why doesn't know what it's from? Why? Do you know what that's from? Oh, it's God. Like he damn, he why? Yeah, he... He's when black people talking, why it zones out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Why was just over there? Let me check my socks. Oh boy. I should, I should help BT with this, but ah, uh, the hell with I it. I really wish they'd wrap this up so we could eat this pizza. Let's see, my mutual funds are like, oh my God, I'm kicking ass. I made another $50. I should invest in AMC. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, but you're, at least you're not black. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Why I can't even say shit? He's like, God, these guys are reading my mind. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> I'm just saying, what do you do with bullying, man? I mean, seriously, I get that now. I feel bad now. Kick like, them in the ball. Like sometimes, man, I like I you heard fight back, man. You, no, you, you say that. It's not that simple when kids are involved. Okay, let's put it this way. Like, I don't think a roommate tells me like sometimes stuff goes out because you know, like, because I tried to be a man about it and put him. Hey, what happened, buddy? Like, I remember one time this kid, and it was a precarious situation because, like, I find out this kid pushed him, like pushed him down, 
And it was a black kid that pushed me. He goes, he's not my friend anymore. And I was like, man, that's fucked up. You got to tell him. He goes, she goes, no, because I don't know what he did to him. And I go, yeah, you got a point. Because sometimes he, like, he plays too much and then like, the kid will you know, react. And I go, you kind of got a so point. He's not getting bullied if you started it. But hear me out. But I'm like, yeah, you got a point on that one. But if he was getting bullied, I want to teach him how if somebody hits you, you don't don't you start a fight. Whoop that trick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and don't you don't you start in trouble. Candy man, candy but, man, candy man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to teach him how to defend himself, is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? I mean, seriously. I remember one time though, it was, we, when he was like uh, it was pre-K. And uh, it, went, it went to nursery school. It was like the, it was it was before pre-K, and it was <laughs> this lady had a this lady had a, a, a daycare. Okay, so we went there, and he was getting ready. We went there early. He was all hyped. He's getting ready, and this little kid kind of tugged. He goes, "Hey, Isaac pushed down today." I go, and I I just went, "Who's Isaac?" I didn't even. I go, <laughs> and the kid goes. And he Snitched points like him. this, and I swear to God, and I followed the finger, and this kid was like this. He literally was like this. He goes, and I just walked over, and my roommate's like, no, BT, don't do this shit. And I walked over, I go, hey, buddy. I go, why'd you push him down? And he goes, uh -huh. and I go, don't have to do that again, okay, buddy? <laughs> and I walked out, and I, I couldn't stop Bro, myself. Fuck your mom while no. you watch. <laughs> but I couldn't stop it. And the lady of the, uh, of the, of the nursery was like. He jumped across your living room like, like baby boy. She's like, what the, what the fuck is, what the fuck is he doing? Because I just walked, I go, don't ever do that again, okay, yeah, you buddy? You scared that little white kid. I, I did. And I, you created a neo Nazi. <laughs> that that kid was on his way anyway. <laughs> I can tell by his haircut that kid was going to be on his way anyway. But yeah, I don't think he ever touched him again. Uh, at least I hope not. But I think my roommate was like, How do you stand up to bullies? By standing up to bullies. You tell somebody, you keep telling people, and eventually. And what if nobody listens to you? If nobody. You, you, if yeah, nobody you, listens. You go until you find someone. You don't give up just because it's hard. You find that. <sighs> what? I. I don't know, you man. Think, you I think, think, I think you, we're failing think, those kids. You, you, I think we're failing them. I think nobody's listening. I think our principal or teachers, if they go, hey, I think I'm being bullied or whatever, somebody should go, okay. Um, I mean, I don't know what the fuck they do in schools, but I don't think they're doing their fucking job when it's, it comes to that. I mean, their job is to teach, not... No, no, no. Their job is to, it's everything. It's not just to, okay, A yeah. plus, I mean, one plus two is three. Blah, blah, okay, bye. Hey, teacher, I'm not feeling good. That's not my problem. Blah, 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 blah. No, you're supposed it's to listen to... That's not their to, problem. You you're go supposed to the to nurse. Feel, you're it's supposed the to get, problem. No, you're supposed to feel the temperature of the room, man. You got to be like, hey, man, is everything okay? We'll pay them more. Nah. See? No. See, you want all these extra... No, I'm, no I'm with that. No, I'm with paying teachers more, but also I, I think that it's more than just paying them more. I mean, they become a teacher. It's more... It's To me, it's everything involved. I think you, you should... You know what kills me is you're talking about bullying, but... The kids don't get bully, bully like they used to. Now, How do we know though? How do we know? Now it's online bully. No, I think there's some. Which is no, the I think there's some. No, I think there's some still heard. straight up pushing yeah, people down. There is, but you know, no, there's, you grow out. There's of that. old. No, I think there's still some straight old school. Uh, hey, you know, pop, pop, pop. And I think I, actually, you know what I think we should start doing? Videotaping teachers uh, in the classroom with their kids. No, I think so. No, I don't. I, th I think so. I've seen those videos. I want to see that. World star. <laughs> there is a teacher down in Atlanta who uh, beat the kid up. No, she dropped the M bomb. Well, good. I mean, we saw it then. I think that we should be videotaping teachers do that. You want to watch we should that be, channel? We, watch that channel. We should be. I ain't watching it. I, I think we should. I mean, I told you, fuck Mr. Goble. I ain't going back to class. <laughs> <laughs> we had a teacher named Mr. McClure. Mr. McClure was in. I was. I was Hi, in I'm Troy McClure. You remember, no. remember me from such it, it teaching was, jobs it, as... He was at least 6'5", and he must have weighed at least about 170, maybe. And he talked like this. Kelly, I get you talking again. Going to take you outside. Going to bust you. <laughs> going to bust you. Hey, I get you talking. Hey, I get you talking one time. Going to take you outside. Going to bust you. <laughs> Mr. McClure, that's how he talked. He come in. All right. You guys read page. Kelly, one more time. Going to take you outside. Going to bust you. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Mr. McClure, that's all he ever, that's all I remember from him, Mr. McClure. Gonna take you outside, gonna bust. <laughs> and I remember I got licks from uh, Miss, that, what did I say, Miss, I, I called her Hyena, but it wasn't Hyena. But she was about, she was about at least six, four, six, five. <laughs> yeah, six, four, six, five. She was a big woman. And uh -huh. she gave me licks. And usually, you know, I take three licks and I'd be like, okay, I'm good. That was the only time I almost cried. I mean, she hit me hard. Like, but but they called my parents. She goes, uh, blah, blah, uh, uh, they asked my dad. 
Uh, can we can we give him licks? They my, used to be allowed to beat children. Yeah, and my, and, my, and my dad goes, he goes, if he did it, tear his ass up. And I was like, oh, daddy did. I knew what was gonna happen if they called my parents. They go, he probably deserved it. Tear his ass up. I go, oh, That's shit. funny. And they took me outside, and Miss, ha- uh, I forget her name, but man, I, I that was the only teacher I wanted to cry. When on. I was in school, they used to hit us. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm no. being you right now. Oh. <laughs> no, Miss Sessions. This was my pre-K. She literally like we didn't know the words or something, whatever. And she would play on the. She played a record, and we had to walk around, and we because everybody got dirty. We went outside and played. We were kids. We got dirty. And every time we come around, she take a belt and beat us with it. <laughs> <laughs> she beat us with it. I mean, she, we're like, psh, psh. and I remember I was like, I hate this woman, <laughs> but I learned. <laughs> But I learned from her. That's but, fucking terrible, bro. It is. I mean, it is. But, I mean, that's just how it was back then. My parents dropped dropped us off there for half a day, and it was half a day getting our ass whooped. I mean, that's how we learned, man. And I was like. Y'all were like lambs to the slaughter. <laughs> Dude, it was. I <laughs> you just spit. You just, but that's what happened, bro. That was a big one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, that story, uh, dude. That's just the truth. Salivated that's how, me. That's how it was back in the day, bro. I mean it. Nah, we didn't. I'm glad I missed that era. Nah, I wish I would have missed that era. I mean, I really do. I wish I would have missed that era. I mean, I just remember like we only had like a Miss Session. We only had like two or three black teachers. Dude, no black first, males. My, no black males. My first black teacher wasn't until sixth grade. Mrs. Morrison. She was the first. Uh, this is the first time I ever got an F on any assignment was her. She was the meanest bitch. Just, I'm expecting black excellence. I'm like, I'm trying to be like everybody else. Leave me the fuck alone. It ain't my fault I'm the only black kid in this class and you want me to be goddamn Barack Obama. It's fucking sixth grade, bitch. Calm the fuck down. That's kind of cool, though. No, it she wasn't cool. Black, at, no, no. She, no, she, was she, a, wanted, she wanted you to more, want more for yourself. No, good. she was a bitch who was trying to make me better than everybody else. Good. I don't want to be that, better than everybody else because well, it's problem. not necessary. <laughs> it's sixth fucking grade. This what? ain't the goddamn. She was planting a good seed. No, man. she wasn't. Yeah, she she was. She was teaching me to hate bl- old black ladies because <laughs> she was the meanest old black bitch I ever met in my life. I just remember. Miss Wilson. If you ate gum in her class, yeah. she would steal your pack, lick every piece, and then throw it all away. <laughs> she was a mean ass bitch. She was hypoglycemic, so if she didn't eat her sugar up, she would get even more mean. Watch so it, she would be eating watch chips. Watch an old black lady lick your gum. Bruh, it, that that made me over made me throw up. Fucking hated her. I will say this: I remember Miss Wilson was uh, my music teacher. Right? She was Doctor Morrison. Excuse and me. Every year, bitch. every year during February, I had to waltz with her because I was the only black kid in class. And she's like, come here. And we had to waltz. And I was like, that's first thing, you know. He had to waltz. Waltz. Well, we had to learn how to waltz. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I had to put my, I had to put my hand on her hip. <laughs> what are they playing? And I was like, are oh. Are they playing the harpsichord? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Telling you motherfuckers stories is, like, fucking useless. <laughs> yeah. It's just you. I listen so to you, but you don't listen to shit to me. old, bro. <laughs> Oh, fuck off. I'm trying to fucking tell nigga, y'all. I don't even know what a waltz is, nigga. Man, just get, get, Would you do in the foxtrot? Nigga? Get to the would you rather, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing the mashed potato. Does that make you feel better now? Get to the uh, chubby would you rather. <laughs> chubby Jack. Are we going to twist again like we did last summer? Twist and chub. Get to the would Come you rather. Come on, mama, shake it up, baby. Waltz in with my teacher. <laughs> Every year. I and do. one, two, three. One, two, Go ahead, three. Malik. One, two. <laughs> okay, first question. Fuck off. <laughs> This think it was waltzing. <laughs> yeah, we had learned shit like that. We got beat and we know how to dance the correct way. <laughs> we know how to dance the correct way. Wyatt, Wyatt would have loved our school. <laughs> Go ahead, man. First question. Would you rather <laughs> Fuck off. have a one in ten chance to get ten dollars and a one in, or a one in a million chance to win a, a million? One in a ten I, chance. I would I would like a one in one chance for you to read something correctly, <laughs> nigga. God damn. Say that shit again. Would you would you would you, would you like to blah, blah, blah. can you stop rewinding while you speak? I was laughing at thinking of BT <laughs> Walton. Find out age. what year Walton was invented. No, fuck that. Just go ahead with the question. It's gonna be a picture okay. of BT. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Would you rather have a one in ten chance to get ten dollars or a one in a million chance for a million dollars? One, one in a million. million. One in a million. <laughs> Of a lifetime, Larry Graham. <laughs> yeah, one in a million. Fuck ten dollars. When the bells ring, you got a ten percent chance to win ten bucks. 
And you could have a ten one bucks. million chance to win a ten million. bucks. Ooh. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> What's this gonna buy? <laughs> Ooh, it won't even buy parking. <laughs> ten bucks won't even buy parking. You do, you got two dollars left over. <laughs> and you gotta get a bum on the corner one. So you got a dollar left. <laughs> Go ahead, Malik. Okay, this one's long. Okay. Oh shit. The struggle okay. continues. And it's got a, a okay. Would you rather would you rather <laughs> get get would you rather get given a hundred million but have to move to Pakistan next week and never leave again or toss a coin if it if heads <laughs> no you gotta if you see Nigga, this question the stress, <laughs> the stress in your voice is ringing so loud in the headphones my have you seen how this question was phrased <laughs> if heads if heads you're given a hundred million with no strings attached if tails you must move to Pakistan and never leave, but no money provided. Oh, I couldn't do that, man. I couldn't yeah, take that chance. I, I, I couldn't I would take flip that chance. The coin. Nah, Pakistan ain't that bad. Bro. Shit, <laughs> forever, forever. It ain't that forever. bad. Forever. It ain't that bad. Forever. Nigga, I know some fine ass Pakistani people. And you won't even meet them. Yeah, you will. You know, it's funny. They try to make. See, this is what pisses me off about America. Is we try to make every other country seem like a shithole because it's got one bad part. Like, the whole country's not fucking Greenwood, nigga. It's like, I, they, they kill me with this shit. Their flag is basically Turkey's flag, but it's green. Yeah. Pakistan was before Turkey, wasn't it? I guess. But you go through Pakistan to go to uh, Mount St. Everest, don't it just, you? It, or Himalayas, the Himalayas, right? Mount St. Everest. <laughs> Mount, uh, yeah. Nigga, don't you? It's not Mount St. Everest. <laughs> it's Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> like Mount St. Helens, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Mount St. <Saint> <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, all of y'all. <laughs> Go ahead, Malik. That's the name of this episode. <laughs> Fuck Mount off. Mount St. Everest. <laughs> the Waltz. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, would you rather be able to copy, paste in real life or undo? Undo. Yeah, undo. No, copy and paste, because I'd be copy and paste in my bank account. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Yeah, copy and paste. Yeah, copy and paste. Okay, last question. Would you rather get a throbbing erection every time you're near a child or have to scream the N-word every time you hear the word Obama? Scream the N-word every time I heard Obama. Nigga! <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> yeah, man. My nigga. I'm glad I don't have a throbbing erection next to them kids. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, Joe Biden standing there. <laughs> like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> man, I watched him talk today. He, oh... Joe, you got to make it, bro. He's not going to make it. We should have never picked... Nigga, this, this is... You know what's really funny? 2016, Hillary Clinton had no business losing to fucking Trump. 2020, Trump had no fucking business losing to Joe Biden. So we've gone back to back just like, what the fuck are we doing? He's going to... I think he's going to say, Kamala... You know what? I just thought about this just now. I have... I mean, granted, I'm trying to like not watch the news because I, I want to be in a good mood, but... I haven't seen her on TV, but maybe once. You're not election. supposed to. She's a vice president. But still, man, I haven't seen her at all. You're not supposed to see the niggas. What's up, my man? What's charge. up, bro? What up? What You're up? not supposed to see the co-captain. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck what your I like opinion that. is. I like that, the co-captain. Yeah. yeah. Go okay. sit your ass down. We yeah. wasn't talking to you. Yeah. You know, it's funny, man, this whole episode. People don't realize, but uh, we're from back to back. Can we say that? From yeah, back to back. And uh, we ordered pizza, and the pizza came halfway through the show, and that's all I've been fucking. Yeah, thinking that's about. all I've been thinking about too. I've uh, been wanting to eat because I can smell it, and it smells good, motherfucker. This, and yeah. I've been like, man, we should just take a break so we can eat because I don't want to eat cold pizza. Yeah, but, but why, man? Why, why? Yeah, why? Why? You like nigger s- boys are gonna work for <laughs> your food. <laughs> that's what he said. That's basically what why. You said. nigger boys is gonna work for your food. Like, like, if why, it's cold, it's cold. I was like, why? I kind of need a little break. Hey, I man, know, we're ready to go. We're I ready know go. you nigger boys pay <laughs> for the food, but guess what? It's my house and my rules. We're going now. All right, man. Fuck You're it. not. You can. No one wants to hear niggers chewing <laughs> on air. <laughs> That's how quiet he is. Well, why'd like, I why? do that to you? I'm sorry. No, but he didn't even retort. He go, well, well, you know, he got a point. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this shit up so we can eat. All right, listen. We hey, still got a whole fucking minute left. God damn. Well, that's the only time we're ever going to short. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go short because we're hungry. <laughs> we're, <laughs> food. Hey, that's what food does it, to you, bro. It a, yeah. Why? What? What? Can you hear me? Yeah. Can we end this early? No, nigger boy. <laughs> you gonna work your full time? 
Every time you're going to work. Because if I let you go early this time, then guess what? Next time, you're going to be like, well, remember that one time? I know how you negros think. You're always trying to cut the fucking corners. No, sir. You got to go your full time. You got 40 more fucking seconds, negra. You can be hungry for another 40 seconds. If you don't make it, guess what? It wasn't intended to be. God damn. I was trying to cut the corners, BT. I'm BT. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. When I'm hungry, I'm done. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm like an athlete knowing he's getting traded. Hey, I'm done, he guys. Said, I, I ain't playing in this I, game. I ain't playing. You playing Scotty Pippen? Yeah. yeah. I just did my Scotty Pippen. I ain't going in, man. 10, I, 9, I'm BT. 8, 7. Hit us up. I'm D. <laughs> On the comments, we'll hit you back. Yeah. I'm BT. Subscribe to Sorry We're Canceled. <laughs> And like, like share, subscribe, <laughs> and as we do it this time. And like we said about this time, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs>